off Zendejas from about 21 yards out. Rito making a run. Played on the hop. Played up ahead to Rito. Sends it towards Barrera. Distributes it back. Here's McLean. Save made by Zendejas. Now, that started off from the goalkeeper. It was played through pretty much every single player, and they just took their time. They maneuvered it from left to right, and it was Conor McGlynn with us. The man who received the ball, Edgardo Rito, and also Juan Pablo Torres. Here's a turnover off the McGlynn pass. Valo sends it towards the goal. McGlynn clears it out. Valo gets it again. Right around Lewis. Drops it back. A shot and a goal. Joaquin Rivas with his fourth goal of the season off the setup by Valo. This goes beyond and before this. It's Tristan Hodge who gives it away initially and then can't do anything about closing down his opponent. The shot comes in from Rivas. It's deflected. Here's Sadie. Lots of room to run. Plays it back. Barrera, left-footed shot, deflected wide. Good play by McGlynn. Hodge can't control. Played through. Sent it across. A big call for a penalty here, and he's given it. And we're going to get a penalty kick. Yep, the foul coming in there on Akinyot. Who scored the first goal of the match. Will take the PK. Rice tries to spread wide. 2 nothing, Miami. It's a brace for Joaquin Rivas in the 59th minute. Certainly hasn't happened. Ammo for Torres is the first change. Ball played in the near corner. Okinyod for Stanley. Wide open, shot and a goal. And it's a hat trick for Joaquin Rivas. Here in the 84th minute, beautiful setup, and Joe Rice had no chance. Two ways, you can look at defending or attacking. I just want to look at the attacking here. This is an outstanding goal. The movement, the run, the options, the cutback. Yes, Hartford haven't picked up Rivas, which isn't the greatest idea when he's on two goals. And we have come to full time. So, Miami FC has come in.